When the Titan submersible went missing off the coast of Newfoundland last June, the world was gripped by the dramatic story, and still is. It's almost a year on, but it still managed to capture people's imaginations. Jeremy Daldry heads up a two-part TV series airing in the UK, seeking to uncover just what happened when the Ocean Gate vessel reached a depth of 3,500 metres below sea level, five people on board, in a final fateful expedition to the wreck of the Titanic. The documentary features something never heard before, the mysterious knocking recorded by sonar buoys during the search after the Titan lost communication. At the time, those sounds spurred hope there were survivors. The recording provided to British producers by the Canadian Air Force. Some very intelligent, very experienced people, both in the Royal Canadian Air Force and in the American Coast Guard felt it was worth exploring and it became the absolute epicenter of the search. We actually flew for about 11 hours on our sortie. In the end, officials determined the submersible had imploded before the search had even begun, killing everyone inside instantly. First of all, it's a mystery. Nobody knows exactly what happened. For David Pogue of CBS, who was aboard the Titan on an earlier, much shorter expedition, that's part of the story's lasting intrigue. And there's a schadenfreude element. You know, these were millionaires. And a lot of people feel like they got what they had coming to them. Deep sea exploration is valid and it's important and it has a place, but it needs to be managed. A lesson Daldry hopes viewers take with them, even as questions remain for others to explore. Heidi Petrachik, Global News, Halifax.